the 2023 Prodigy Bowlers Tour Tournament of Champions is coming. I'm not gonna lie to you. I screwed up and originally picked a date for the event that conflicted with another big youth bowling tournament in the area. And Prodigy is not here to compete against youth bowling tournaments. We're here to build up youth bowling. So for those Prodigy champions that might have been on the fence about which event they wanted to bowl in that weekend, I've got good news. We've moved the date of the Prodigy Bowlers Tour Tournament of Champions to Sunday, June 25th. That's one week after Father's Day at Olathe Lanes East. Check in at 9.30 a.m., warm up starts at 9.50, and we'll get you started bowling at 10 o'clock. Get there early so we don't start without you. Here's how the format will work. All the youth champions we crowned on Prodigy Bowlers Tour during the 2022-23 season who signed the coveted trophy pin will be eligible to bowl in the tournament for an entry fee of just $10. That's just to cover the bowling center for lineage. There are just two divisions in the Prodigy TOC. Champions who won in KCO Divisions 2, 3, 4, and 5 on Prodigy Bowlers Tour will compete in the Handicap Division, unless they finish the season in Division I, in which case they'll bowl in the Scratch Division with the rest of the Division I champions. Each player will bowl three qualifying games, with the Handicap Division receiving handicap pins equal to 75% of the difference between their last KCO entering average and 200. Your three-game total, including handicap, if any, is your final qualifying score. The top four in both the handicap and scratch divisions will receive a guaranteed spot in their respective division stepladder finals. But even the bowlers who finish out of the top four still have a chance to make the stepladder finals as they will advance to the prodigy wildcard round. The wildcard round is scratch in both divisions and is a single ball elimination format where each player will throw one ball in the first frame with the low pinfall being eliminated. If two or more tie for low pinfall, they'll go into a roll off until we eliminate one. Then they'll repeat the process in the second frame and so on until there's just one player left and that player will claim the fifth spot in the stepladder finals. The winner of the stepladder finals in the scratch division will receive the first ever Charles Bostick Award, so named because Charlie won the most titles on Prodigy in its first season and won the first coveted trophy pin, which he then gave to Hunter Moffat back when I used to refer to Hunter as America's favorite nine-year-old. And the winner of the stepladder finals in the handicap division will receive the first ever Hunter Moffat Award, so named because Hunter won the first ever handicap event held on Prodigy back in 2017, and then went on to become the winningest player in Prodigy Bowlers Tour history. Then on our final show in Georgia, Hunter became the final Atlanta winner of the coveted trophy pin, which he then brought with him to Junior Gold in Grand Rapids and kept the tradition alive by giving it away to none other than Charles Bostick, the same guy who gave him the first one. Then, as the ultimate climax of the day, the winners in the handicap and scratch divisions will meet in the final showdown. In this single game match, the handicap division winner will bowl with handicap, while the scratch division winner will bowl scratch. The winner of the final showdown will claim the coveted trophy pin and all its season's worth of signatures that have been scrawled upon it. It's the grand prize they've all been playing for each season on Prodigy Bowlers Tour since 2016. And curiously, every single winner has given it away in a remarkable gesture of unselfish sportsmanship. Will that tradition continue here in America's heartland? We'll find out at the 2023 Prodigy Bowlers Tour Tournament of Champions Sunday, June 25th at Olathe Lanes East. That's a new date. We rescheduled it. Sunday, June 25th. Check in at 9.30 a.m. Warm-up begins at 9.50, and we start bowling at 10 sharp. It's the first ever Prodigy TOC in the greater Kansas City area, and the first time we've ever awarded prizes to winners in both a scratch division and a handicap division 
in addition to the coveted trophy pin going to the winner of the final showdown. Plus, at this season-ending event, we'll also name the first ever recipient of the PBAA, that's Prodigy Bowlers Across America, Player of the Year Award, voted on by a select panel of judges and you, the Prodigy viewers. Stay tuned for further details on how you can vote. It's the 2023 Prodigy Bowlers Tour Tournament of Champions, the season's last hurrah. Who will claim the coveted trophy pin?